This old house is made possible by a grant from... Radio, what would you like to hear? What the hell was that? Hello, people. So in our last video, we were talking about the Zalmex MiG-21 and how I couldn't find this camouflage version. Well, I went out on the World Wide Web and found a really nice example of another MiG-21. has no stickers on it, but the paint job is in great condition. Markings are in great shape. The casting's in really good shape, but it's got all its parts. It's got all, all the landing gear pieces, the wheels, it has the bombs, and it has a good a good looking canopy that's not cracked. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start customizing this little airplane and we're gonna make that uh, camouflage variation that I don't think exists because I really want one. So the first thing I want to do is take off the landing gear and the bomblets. So we take some basic rubbing alcohol and dissolve this glue so the bomblets come off without breaking. You want to dab this rubbing alcohol in, in these places where glue is used to try to hold everything together. And this will soften up the glue. It won't uh, ruin the finish on the bombs. It's not going to do anything to the chrome. And it won't fade the plastic. You get this, uh, and it won't take the paint job off either. We want to remove the paint job eventually, but it it's not going to remove this paint. It'll remove the stickers. It'll loosen this this glue, and I'm hoping it's going to loosen the glue in the canopy as well. I haven't done that yet, but I've tried this out on another airplane. A test airplane that didn't cost as much and um, it worked out really well so I expect this to work out just the same all right let's see how far we got with that Oh, that one came right off. That was pretty solid earlier, too. So that rubbing alcohol really helped. Oh, we don't want to break that. Oh, this one's a lot more solid. This probably needs a little bit more soaking. Let's see if we can get the landy gear to move. Yeah, that popped out real easily. Those came out real nice. I just got this last bomb to come off. Oh, there it goes. Loosened up and broke away. Might not be a bad idea to soak 
this airplane to really allow the alcohol to get into the canopy. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it looks like there's some red paint in there as well. Huh. So to strip the paint, what we're gonna do is put the airplane in a plastic container and then take the citrus strip and just submerse the airplane. Uh, just after the plane splashed down, he turned to his co-pilot and said, well, that wasn't as bad as I thought. All right, after 30 minutes of soaking in here, we want to give it a good scrub. And now we're just going to go rinse it off under some water. Next step, we're going to use our Dremel brush and give it a nice shine. All right, we're ready to put some uh, paint on this uh, little model, but first we're going to put some primer down and this Rust-Oleum primer is meant specifically for cleaned metal. From all of us here, I'd like to wish you happy painting and God bless my friend. Okay, that's really hard to videotape since I need both hands and I don't have a good camera stand down here, but there's the primer applied and the, the light is so bright in here. There it is. Okay, a uh, coronavirus shutdown later. We're gonna use AS9 Dark Green RAF by Tamiya. And uh, we'll be right back. I may need to hit that one more time after this dries, but we'll wait a little bit and see how it looks. The USNS Comfort is armed with 12 fully equipped operating rooms, a 1,000 bed hospital, a medical laboratory, and a pharmacy. Yeah, we're gonna hit that one more time. See those white spots on the on the tip of the wing there, and yeah, right there, you can see it real well. So we're gonna hit that one more time. All right, that looks really good. So now we're going to put on the black stripes and uh, the red details on the ailerons. But first, I want you to see these these testers bottles. You see the number is 1150 and it's a flat red. But all four corners of this well three three sides of this bottle are covered in warning labels and the, the fourth one is a mostly a barcode with an address, a pseudo address, phone number. 
And then the most important part of this product, the number and the color, are really small. Maybe not as small as what's down here in the bottom right, but it's so small I need glasses to read it. And maybe I need glasses to read a lot of things today, but regardless, this is what testers bottles used to look like. I think that is so much cooler looking and the label, it's easy to read. It's in two different languages. It's got a warning label on it. I mean, what else do you want? You know, if you want to put a barcode, put a barcode on this side right here, but having two of these sides unlabeled makes the bottle look so much more attractive. Uh, anyway.
So I was ready to reassemble this and be done with it, but I became horribly unhappy with the way I painted the bottom of the airplane. Um, this is an airplane, not a tank. So the bottom shouldn't be camouflaged. It should be white or a really light blue to blend in with the sky if you're looking up at it. I masked it off and uh, hit it with some uh, navy white, which I thought would look appropriate. And uh, now I'm hoping I didn't ruin the model. So let's take off this tape and see what we ended up with. All right, she looks beautiful. I didn't get any white paint on the top, but we've got a decent spray on the bottom. Maybe I'm a little neglected. I neglected it a little bit on the sides there, but I didn't didn't want to hit the sides too much and get some overspray, but I don't know. I'm over I'm overall I'm happy with it. I'm not going to worry about it too much. It's my first one anyway, so let's go ahead and put these parts back on and check it out. So I I need a toothpick and I couldn't find a toothpick. So I went down into the basement and found an old piece of wood and just drug my knife against the corner and made a splinter which is going to work as a toothpick. You don't need a lot of super glue. This stuff is really super. There's a windshield. So to compare what we've ended up with here, And we compare that to the picture in the 1990 catalog. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe, share, and comment. Thanks for watching, people. Make it a great day.